I almost tossed! Too much sound? Oh. Rated T for teen. Anna Bay. Rasputin. Honey, I'm home. War mind. The most powerful Ew. artificial intelligence humanity ever created. It's only a matter of time before his warsats fall into the wrong hands. But the witness is coming. This time, there is no escape. Infiltrate behind enemy lines. Oh, snap. SMG. You must secure the Warsat network before it's too late. Rebuilding the war mind is now top priority. Oh. Wait, did they just did they just pull a Call of Duty with the scope? Oh, that's creepy. It's oh time. no. That's the body they gave Rasputin? Season of the Seraph. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. All right, hold on. Let's watch this again. Rasputin, the war mind. Why does he look so creepy, bro? Humanity ever created. Is anybody else like creeped out by his body? Before his war sets fall into the wrong hands. But the witness is coming. This time, there is no escape. Good old football forehead. You guys think we could kick a 50 yarder through this or what? No, I'm not on 2x. This is interesting. I think this is the new six man? I can't tell. Three man? Six man? I don't is that the exotic? What oh is that it's a glaive. It's a solar glaive. Zeno. This, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a, I'm a sucker for SMGs that have cool ADSs. Like, I, dude, I'm sorry. I don't care if this is reskinned or not, this looks cool. We must secure the Warsat network before it's too late. Rebuilding the, the reskin on now top Deep priority. Stone. I can't tell if this is like we're coming back here for something besides the raid. It looks like it. Wait. Oh, wait, is this the dungeon? Priority. Wait a minute. Or we might get a separate dungeon trailer. Because I, my brain just clicked. There's no scorn in Deepstone Crypt. So, we're doing something here. We're fighting scorn again for like the 50th time this year for some reason, though. Oh, because that was one of the OG Fallen Guys from Beyond Light trailer. Interesting. So it looks like we might be getting a it's little time. bit of Mars back or something like that. So the feeling that I'm getting for Lightfall is it's gonna be like Rasputin side versus Witness side. It's that's that's the uh that's the lore setting I'm getting in my head here. Interesting. I feel like this season's gonna go really quick though, because we have like the holidays and then it's straight into the new year. And then, yeah, I feel like it's gonna go quick. I hope so. Yeah, I'm not, 
I'm not sure what to think, to be completely honest with you. Like, there weren't many things that popped out to me in the trailer that were like, wow, crazy. But at the same time, this isn't like the longest season ever either. I'm more excited for the dungeon than anything, but I think we'll get the dungeon trailer probably either tomorrow or Thursday. Um, let's go to Bungie.net. Um, Season of the Seraph. The Infiltrator, the War God, and the Machine. Um, the Hive God of War moves to seize control of the Rasputin's network of weaponized satellites. In her hands, she would turn its devastating power on the last city. To stop her, the Vanguard has authorized a special covert operations armed with the Warmind's most advanced weaponry. Agents conducting these operations are known as Seraphs. Heist Battlegrounds. Seraphs have deployed to multiple destinations to infiltrate Braytech facilities, bypass advanced defense systems, and neutralize hordes of Wrathborn. Your security clearance has been granted and your Seraph fire team awaits. Exotic Mission! Operation Seraph Shield. For this mission to succeed, Guardians must gain access to the most impenetrable facility in the solar system, a Braytech orbital platform above the last city. Uh, break through layers of security each week to awaken Rasputin before it's too late. So you're telling me it's time-gated. Um, be becomes available December 20th. Revision 0. Once deep enough within the facility, Guardians will reach the weapon Revision Zero. In the weeks following its discovery, multiple catal multiple catalysts can be acquired, adding each adding to the mysterious exotic's power. So they're making a weapon with multiple catalysts. Interesting choice. That's kind of cool. At least they say when it's going to be available. Why? Why this close to Christmas though? Like, it's such a tough decision, because it's like, dude, a season start this close to Christmas is just, like, a bad idea. I don't know. Maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing, I don't know. Santa gives us the weapon, yeah, he's just sitting there. Classified tech leap into the light. Bungie and Ubisoft join forces, uh, the Assassin's Creed, uh, crossover. Rose, the wolves howl, war minded. The kind of armor that makes people who review security footage quit their job immediately. What? Moments of triumph as the final season of year five begins. Reflect on all you've accomplished. Bungie rewards. Season pass. Exotic SMG. Add the catalyst and rank 100 ornament to the manticore and strike your foes with its venomous roar. Wait, is that vice SMG the exotic? It's it's showing grand overture. Okay. This hasn't this is a placeholder. This hasn't been updated yet. Oh, you're talking about this stuff? So we are back on Mars. I called it. I knew it, bro. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, listen. I didn't look that deep. I thought you guys were talking about the season pass. That's my bad. So it is the, okay, the vice is the exotic. Now the question is, is will it be better than Osteo? 
It better be an energy. If it's not an energy, I'm going to be pissed. We already have a kinetic. We have like multiple kinetic exotic SMGs. I was kind of hoping it would be like solar. I feel like we have, bro. Do we really need a avoid SMG exotic if we have funnel web stasis SMG? That would be nice. To be honest with you, I would take that. Because the only stasis SMG we have is not good. That thing is bad. Or actually, no, we have two. I lied. Because there's the the one from Throne World that's not good. And then this, the last season one was, was okay. Multiple catalysts. Okay, so yeah, this is the one we get from the exotic mission. And this one has the scope that you can flip. This actually looks really cool. I love the like the aesthetic of uh, Warmind weapons. 